many points, as you know, against Biden. They went in to see him. They said, you're losing. You're not going to win. You can't win. We're going to get you out. It was a coup of a, an American president, and it was done with anger, and he's more angry than anybody. And again, I'm no fan of his. I think he was perhaps the worst president. He was the worst president, largely because of what's happened at the border. He's allowed, in my opinion, and in the opinion of the gentlemen behind me who know this better than anybody, much more than 20 million people into our country, many from prisons and jails, and many from mental institutions, insane asylums, and many terrorists. And this was uh, when I left, this is a very famous chart now because this chart probably saved my life. But this chart is showing the arrow on the bottom shows that this was the lowest. This was the last week in office for me because of a horrible, horrible election where I got many millions more votes than I got the first time. It didn't quite make it, just a little bit short. We've got to clean up our borders. We have to clean up our elections, or we're not going to have a country. But that's my last week, the arrow, arrow on the bottom. You see, that's the lowest point, as the gentlemen were talking. Uh, that's the lowest point in the recorded history of the border. This was done by Border Patrol. This wasn't done by Trump. This was done by Border Patrol, working with ICE and law enforcement. And that's what we're going to do again. If you take a look, interestingly, at the all of the wall that's laying on its side, that could have been put up in a matter of weeks. It was all set to go. It was all cut out. And if you look at the top of the mountain behind us, it was all shaped, all ready to go. Could have been put up in a few weeks. Much of it's been sold for five cents on the dollar. It's very expensive. I worked with Border Patrol very closely. We worked Brandon. We worked with all of Paul, all of your people, and uh, we wanted to design something that worked. And we actually had mountain climbers. We even had drug climbers. They call them drug climbers. They can get over a wall like in so incredible with 75 pounds of drugs on their back. They can climb up things. And we uh, designed this after looking at a lot of different designs. And that's an anti-climb panel that makes it very tough for somebody to climb. This was the one that was they wanted. A little more expensive version, but this is the one that's a very important panel on top. And uh, it's called anti-climb. And this was put in here just to shade us because uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of rough people on the other side. So I figured you're the media. You want to be shaded. This gets taken off. This is just temporary to shade us from uh, potential hazard. We know about hazards. Uh, but all of this wall was built at great expense, and all it had to be you know, erected, we just had a — he stood up on his end, concrete on the bottom, goes down six feet, but also went down and shielded from tunnels because we went down about as far as it's practical for them to go down. You know, they build tunnels on the walls. We went down pretty deep. We'd go down a lot deeper than the wall, made it very tough for them. Uh, we stopped that, and we stopped people from — coming over, but when they refused to — I built hundreds of miles of this. By the way, as far as the eye can see, you look at the other direction, as far as the eye could see, and then I'd hear people say, oh, he didn't build the wall. We built the wall. We built much more than I was anticipated to build. And we were going to build an extra 200 miles. Much of this is that, which is much more than I said I was going to do, because as we built it, they would go around the edges. So we were going further and further out, and it worked. We had the best numbers ever, and we had them largely because of the wall and also because the Mexican military helped us, which they never helped at any time. They never helped. And uh, we were very proud of it. So we went from the best numbers in recorded history to the worst numbers in recorded history or any other history. And we have a Marxist that's running, and I don't think you can let her well, — this country is not ready for a Marxist president. She will never build the wall. She doesn't want to build the wall. She's only saying if she, if she changes her mind, it's only because she wants to get elected, because who wouldn't want to have a strong border? You need strong borders and strong elections, and we have neither. But we're going to have very strong borders, and we're going to have very strong elections soon. Uh, we are uh, — the people are fed up. It's common sense. The people are just fed up. And you saw it. Everybody coming from the airport saw the thousands and thousands of people lined up. It looked like Lindbergh coming in from 
what he did at the time. Broadway, it was amazing when you see all those people for it was a long drive from the airport and so many thousands and thousands of people. The people in my car said, I've never seen anything like that. We're in the middle of an area that's not well populated and to have thousands of people like that is pretty unbelievable. I hope you got to see it. And I hope the press writes this story fairly because it's a story of disgrace. We had a border czar who was the border czar. She loved the title, but she didn't want to do the work because she's lazy. And probably more importantly than being lazy, she uh, wants to have an open border. And you say, who would want an open border where criminals can pour into our country? And all you have to do is walk up there if you have the courage to do it and go to that open section. Stand there for a little while. You'll be running back here very quickly. You really have to write this fairly, this story. So you people don't want to talk about the border. You don't want to talk about the bad things that are going on in our country. We're going to end up not having a country. You're not going to have any media. We don't have media. They don't have media. They do their own media. They don't need media. But you really should cover this story fairly. Before I begin, I have some, I think, very good words on the border and what to do and how to solve the problem. We had it solved. All they had to do is leave it. Leave it. Just leave it.